So this is the screen of the data fusion monitor that we developed in the intensive care here at the John Ratcliffe Hospital and that we are under this new project going to take into the accident and emergency department again here at the John Ratcliffe Hospital. And what you have is the parameters coming in from the patient monitors. So you have the patient's heart rate, 80 beats per minute here. Their last blood pressure, 121 over 81. Uh, their uh, oxygen levels, 97% saturation, which is fine. Uh, their breathing rate, 20 breaths per minute. And their temperatures in Fahrenheit here. And the data fusion software, which is on this um, tablet PC, fuses, as we call it, integrates all the information from the patient monitor to give the biosign index, which is an index of abnormality, if you want. So low number, you're in the green, and if your vital signs start behaving abnormally, this number will rise and you'll go in the red. And I can demonstrate that by actually changing these values. And let's imagine that the patient starts having a high heart rate. So if I increase this to go to say high, um, and at the same time their breathing rate, shall we say, drops low. If I cancel that, you can see already that the number has grown. The pie chart representing the vital signs has also got much bigger. So the number has gone above three, which is the um, number for alerting. And after checking that this is real information, you'll see the alert will come on. Um, and this turns red and begins to sound an alert. This will bring the nurse to the patient's bedside. She will see immediately that the pie chart is much greater. The radius is increased because the radius is proportional to that number. But also she can see immediately that the main problem, you can see the color coding is the heart rate, takes up most of the pie chart. And the next abnormal vital sign in terms of ranking of abnormalities is the respiratory rate, the breathing rate here, which is low. So immediately she can see what's wrong with the patient, intervene, uh, initiate the appropriate treatment, and as a result of that, uh, the patient, one hopes, is maintained in a good condition and the alert is dealt with. So this is the data fusion technology that we're now bringing onto the accident emergency um, wards here at the John Ratcliffe Hospital and integrating with the nursing process. Now let's imagine the patient recovers, so I will restore these parameters to their normal values and likewise for the respiratory rate here and you will see that uh, the number indicating abnormality goes right down, we're back in the green, the radius has been reduced and the patient has fully recovered. What this means, as I was saying, is that because patients are connected to monitors continuously but only observed by nurses intermittently, that it's as if they were being observed by the nurses continuously. So important events are not missed and that improves patient care.